Mark. Uh, we spent around about a week in Wales um, recently. and good, isn't it? We went to Wales not really knowing what to expect. Um, we knew it would be beautiful, didn't we? Um, but when we got there, we were quite surprised because we saw some of the most beautiful scenery that we'd ever seen. We absolutely loved it. Yeah. And we got involved in a little mystical tale that we did not expect, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, before yeah. going to Wales, we didn't really realise the significance of King Arthur on that part of that area. And um, when we started reading about it, when we got there and started finding things that were related to that, we realised that our adventures had suddenly become themed. And it was even better because about a week or so before that, we just watched Sword in the Stone, it was on TV. And it's yeah. the first time Rufus had watched it and he really loved it, so it was perfect timing, wasn't it? Yeah, really, really good. First. We went to Klimperdan. It is a lake in Snowdonia National Park and this is what we found. So the legend has it that King Arthur threw his sword into one of three lakes in Wales and we are going to go and find those lakes and see if we can find the sword. I really hope it washes up a bit <laughs> to shore so I can go in the Yeah, grab it. you probably won't be able to. Nobody has ever seen Nobody it. Nobody has ever seen Only it. Only King Arthur and the knights have. Legend also has it that in one of the lakes in Snowdonia National Park there is a sea monster and we think we just heard it. Yeah. <laughs> but I really hope it is in this lake so I can see it but I really don't as well because it might kill us. It won't kill us. So now we had a quest. Find the sword and find the sea monster. maybe just heard the sea monster and the legend of the sea monster is what? In one of these lakes. In one of these lakes. Is he guarding the sword? Is he guarding King Arthur's maybe. sword? A oh, train! Check that. What? Oh, no. Dad! A train! Oh, it wasn't the sea monster, it was a train! Maybe it wasn't. Ooh. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's not. Anyway, we came out here to see King, King Arthur's sword. So there's a little bit of a story, wasn't there, that Arthur threw his... Um, when Arthur... Had been wounded in battle. Yeah. He gave his sword to his tr most trusted advisor, didn't he? And he asked, and he, he asked him to discard it, didn't he? Get rid of it. But the sword was so powerful that the trusted advisor couldn't do it, do you remember? And then eventually he did, and he threw it into one of three lakes, and we went to try and find it, didn't we? For a long walk to find um, Excalibur. It was really exciting and, well, probably excite, as excited as I've ever been, and, well, it was just beautiful and, well, look good but unfortunately we You're talking about me. Unfortunately <laughs> we didn't find any Anna. So we have just got down after climbing to Lake or Clinkledow or Clinkledore. Clinkledore. Clinkledore, we think it might be, yeah. Um, we went on the Miners Trail, which is one of the routes that leads up to Snowdon. And, and we saw the sea monster. We think we saw the lake monster, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Um, no one else has ever really seen him, but we were pretty sure it was him. What, what was he doing? What did it look like? He was just laying down and we saw his back. So he saw his flat back in the so, lake. in a sec. We all show a picture we'll of show it. show a picture of it. Um, really, really lovely walk. It took us quite a long time and we're just getting back now and it's kind of getting a bit dark. We've only just made it. Yeah, what do you want to say here? Here's a picture of Is that his back? Yeah. Oh. that's why I'm trying to throw a stone at it. Oh. I'm trying to get him out. Dad, oh. see if you can throw the stone at it. Way too far. Hey. 
So, just going to talk about the walk. What was the walk like? Quite a long and steep and tiring walk. Yes. They say you can take um, uh, wheelchairs, and you can do. Uh, we tried to take our push chair, got about 100 meters, and then just gave up. Unless you've got something that's like um, off-roading, like the ones with bike wheels or stuff, you probably will struggle a little bit. Um, but you could do it. Um, the view is just brilliant all the way. It is a fairly, if it was nicer weather, I think it would be a fairly okay walk. And we arrived a little bit later because we just take ages to get out of the house. Um, but this is a well-recommended walk. Um, just going to the lakes rather than climbing up all of Snowdon. Uh, you can do that with your family. You can have a really nice day out like we did. Or well, maybe the um, the dinosaur-like thing wasn't the sea monster. I think it probably was. Us. And also, Riley is knackered now. She's yeah. so tired. She didn't. She did walk quite a lot, though, didn't she? Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, we would say two and a half hours, three hours we've just spent there. And you could easily, if it was nicer weather, you could spend four or five. Parking is £10 for the day. It was like, I'd say incredible or amazing. Um, incredible or amazing. That's Rufus nice. would have liked to have walked further, wouldn't you? Yeah. Maybe we can next time. Yeah, Rufus has sadly can no longer be with us. Good time. Yeah. So the legend has it that um, King Arthur's sword went into one of three lakes: Ogwen, Clodor, or Dinas. Mm -hmm. um, Rufus was so excited about finding the sword, and yeah. he it was his mission. Like when we told him the story, it was his mission to make sure he found it. So we had to go to all of the lakes. That's what he wanted to do. He wanted to climb mountains and go to the lake. Yeah. He didn't want to leave the car unless we talked about climbing mountains yeah. or going to find a sword Which, sea monster. as a parent, is quite a high expectation yeah. to be bestowed upon you. <laughs> yeah, we really had to try and manage his expectations, but he was adamant he was going to find it. Since Malta, those of you that have seen our Malta vlog, he's been obsessed with wanting to climb mountains. And, um, Which is great. It's great, yeah, he's really adventurous now, but I have to say to him sometimes, because we were talking about Everest the other day, uh, he's like, we should do that. I'm like, well, you do need to practice a bit for Everest. <laughs> One of the lakes, Lake Ogburn, um, which we went to kind of near the end of our stay, um, it was really quite bad wind. Yeah. Um, not our bodies, I mean, like the weather. Um, yeah, it was bad for, definitely for climbing mountains. Yeah, we went we went to the base of, we go to the lake and we had a look around there, but we didn't get out of the car for very long. Rufus wanted to get in the car because <clears> it was too windy, and then yeah. said, do you want to come and climb a mountain? He was like, yeah. Yeah, so we went <laughs> and climbed the mountain, and that was amazing, and we were, we literally only climbed uh, for five minutes. Um, and we, we were already surrounded by an amazing stream and great stuff, but it was it was too dangerous for us to go any further. Um, but then we got back in the car and we were about to go, and I just thought I'll just go for a walk just for a minute. And then I found this, which is just unbelievable. Um, these, it looks nice yeah. So I ran back to the car um, to grab everyone, and we all came out and just just enjoyed it. It was just absolutely amazing. So Lake Ogwen, there's so much around that small area. Place in itself, yeah. Because that place, you can't even really see it from the road. There's a little gate and then it's just there. Like, yeah. You can't. Well, we'd already driven past it. So much stuff to do. You could actually climb the mountain, you could walk the lake, you could just enjoy those waterfalls and there were a few people just pulling up, getting out, taking photos there and just leaving. It was just amazing. <laughs> So anyway, moving on. So aside from the lakes and the King Arthur shizzle, um, we we just did some other stuff. We found we'd heard of this place called. That's great. Did some other stuff. Went to Wales and just did some stuff. Did some stuff. <laughs> some of that stuff includes a place called Betsicoid, um, which we're probably not saying right. But let me tell you how difficult it is to say this place. Um, Betsicoid. I don't know, but we tried to learn from a YouTube tutorial with a lady with an Indian accent. So, but don't learn Welsh from someone with an Indian accent. Indian accent and American accent. The two ones, the two ones, the two videos we found were people that I wasn't entirely convinced would be pronouncing it correctly. You know, they sound it out quite well. Yeah. We did ask the guy the tourist information, and he 
But he, the, the man who sourced information was amazing. It went into the Vesticoid, if that's how you say it. And um, we spoke to the man who sourced information and he told us how to say it and he said most of the locals don't say it correctly. So that made that us feel better. Yeah. Um, but this place, this town is amazing. Um, it's just beautiful. Well, as Mel said, we were there around like December time. So the, the decorations were up for Christmas and the day that we were there, it was getting dark when we were still there. Yeah. And I it felt to, quite magical. I have to say that day we all woke up really grumpy. Mm. We, you know, when you just don't get on with each other, you're just annoying each other and you just don't want to be around each other. Every mm. family has that. Um, we, we all woke up in that mood and it was awful. Um, so we thought, we'll just go out, let's just go out because we're not happy. Just get out the door. <laughs> We had the best day. That was so good. It was so, so I can't good. believe how much was in this small town. Um, they had a lovely st strip of shops with um, some nice bars and cafes and we got a nice coffee. Mm -hmm. um, then there was uh, a lovely train station that had the museum. Um, <laughs> there was an art gallery, yeah, which Rufus spotted. It, was the, it wasn't really obvious, was it? No. And it was all about... Um, Economic, conservation. Being, yeah, conservation and being um, ecologically con ecologically conscious. Yeah, you go with whatever, <laughs> whatever works. Ecologically. It's getting late. Yeah, it's getting late. But, um, but it was good. Yeah. It was all around conservation. <laughs> Uh, suspension bridge called Sapper Suspension Bridge, which we went to, which was very absolutely cool. beautiful, mm. very very cool, a marvel in miniature engineering. I would call. Um, I've never seen a suspension bridge it's so small. It's really nice. It was just a beautiful town. I would love to be there in the snow. I think it would be mm. phenomenal. Yeah. Um, we were there in quite a quite a lot of rain. Yeah. yeah. And it was gorgeous. Yeah, it was really nice, nice still. Yeah. Um, but the best thing for me was the falls. The waterfalls there are just spectacular. There's a bridge, but to have it in the middle of a town like that this is quite unusual. This was a really fast flowing one, wasn't it? Oh, well? yes, but powerful. Yeah, it's really um, cool. Yeah, it's like looking in a mirror. Um, powerful or cool? Powerful or cool and <laughs> wet, wet and drippy. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, uh, also, there was a chip shop next oh to it, God. and we had the table right next to the window. We just had chip buddies, maybe. Yeah, lying um, chips. <coughs> uh, we, had, we had fish and chips without the expensive part. Um, so we had fish and chips by by the window, and just looking over the falls and hearing the sound of it um, amongst the children crying was mm. just glorious. As they do whenever you try and stop for food and enjoy it. <laughs> yeah. I think it was a really good meal time actually, I think yeah. they were still happy. Um, but Bessie Coyne was brilliant. Definitely, definitely go. But we went to Cromlech Boulders and it was just lovely. All we did was pull over by the side of the road and go for a walk. And we didn't walk very far, but you didn't. You don't have to. You you just spend fifteen twenty minutes out out in nature doing something. And we just climbed up a stream and we got a bit Season close. Goats. Yeah, we got close sheep. to some. I think yeah, I think it was sheep that were on a cliff, and we were just marvelling how the hell they hadn't fallen off. <laughs> um, and it was just a great way to spend. By the time we'd driven there and had you know uh, had something to eat, um, had some nuts in the car. Um, it was a great way to spend a few hours and go and do some bonding and just get out and see something amazing. Um, and there were some, lots of cyclists around as well and God knows how they were powering up those lines. <laughs> Me and Ruth, they do, don't they? Ruth, Rufus and I did a little salute to a couple of them like, mate, you're doing well. Um, but yeah, Cromlech Boulders, beautiful place uh, and that's just kind of really near to Snowdon. Hmm. Just the drive, the it's weather. just unreal, like the scenery around you, the the valleys, the mountains, it's just something different, isn't it? Yeah. Some, if you haven't been, just just go, like, just drive, drive yeah. through the National Park, it's amazing. Yeah, it felt really, as the one word I would use to describe the landscape was ancient. It mm. felt, felt so ancient and um, just Lord of the Ringsy. Yeah, the valleys were gorgeous. The, yeah, it did feel very Lord of the Rings, and we like things like that. So yeah, very like We also day. like going around to see where we'd be good in a zombie apocalypse, and there's quite a lot of places there. Yeah. I don't know if zombies can climb mountains. We'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> they sound like they are. Oh! <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> 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 
for like, other kids on the way down from Snowden. Yeah. <laughs> oh, chocolate. Um, but it was just amazing. Yeah, having, it was ha- really cool. We think maybe having the story as well made it so great. Mm-hmm. Having that King Arthur Excalibur bit just was oh, just brilliant. And I, I think we're definitely going to take that on board and try and do that with other places we yeah. visit. Come up with a theme and a story and keep the kids involved. And um, Mel said about tying in our homeschooling with that. I mean, it's quite quite good if there's something there already mm. but if you were even visiting any sort of island you could come up with a pirate theme or something you know something fun anything historical you want to do. or anything yeah yeah, yeah. Um, even culinary getting them cooking mm. uh, from or eat and trying the foods from Definitely. that place um, but yeah so we highly highly recommend Snowdonia even better than we thought it was going to be um, just a brilliant brilliant week yeah um, Thank you so much for watching. We really, really appreciate it. Um, and if you've got any thoughts or if you've found Excalibur, please comment oh. below. Um, and yeah, we'll see you on our next adventure. Bye-bye. Bye.